Well, thanks again for ordering your magnetic windows. This video is going to teach you how to measure the opening and determine where the panel is going to be installed so that when you receive the materials, it will be an easy installation for you. Step one on your order form is to determine how you're going to mount the window. With this window here, we have several choices. We can do an in-jam mount, which is our most common installation method, where we attach our steel angle to the inside jam of the window. Uh, you could also do a surface mount, where you mounted the window out here on the, on the casing, um, would be an option with this as well. Um, for this video, we're going to do the in-jam uh, measuring uh, system. Also on your order form, we want you to measure the window in six different places. We do that because when we make the panel, we want to make sure that it fits in the opening as, as best as possible without you having to do any additional cutting once you get the material. So there's six measurements. The first measurement is going to be at the top, middle, and the end, the bottom. You'll write those three numbers on there. We're going to measure from the, on the left side, in the center of the opening, and on the right side of the opening. Uh, and this is a good example. This window is 60 and a half on the left. The center is about 60 and an eighth. The right is 60. So that's an important number for us to know so that when we make the panel, we can make sure that it fits the opening just like the opening is made. Now, all the panels are custom cut, so we don't care that it's half an inch on one side and one sixteenth on the other. We, we can adjust the panel to fit that opening. One thing that's important to remember when you're providing the measurements is that we want you to find out if indeed there is a square corner on the window. And you can do that with a couple of different tools that you probably already have. A framing square, they come in different shapes, um, sizes, but you're going to take that, that tool and you're going to put it in the bottom left corner and you're going to see if there's a gap here in the window, which means the window is kind of leaning this way. If, there, if you put the square in there and there's a gap, you need to go 12 inches from the end and measure the distance between the bottom of the square and the window sill and write that number on your window measurement form. Now, chances are, if your window's at a square, there'll be a gap on one side. When you put the square on the other side, there'll be a gap on the other side of the square. That, 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 that gap really indicates that the window is leaning. So we want you to put the square in, go 12 inches away, give us the measurement that's right there. If it's a sixteenth or less, we call that square. Uh, if it's more than that, we really need to know so we can make our panel fit. That's, that's going to help uh, me make the panels right. It's going to help you have a perfect fit when you get the panels for your house.